Good day! In this video, we are going to do a typical year 9 inverse proportion question part 2 from New Zealand. Without further ado, let's read the question. Jim can mow the lawn in 50 minutes while Peter can do the same lawn in 40 minutes. How long will it take them if they were to do the lawn mowing together? So this is a not so common question, but I want to do this video so that I, my all my students will be able to do this question in the future. So the formula to do this is, there are two ways to do this. The long way is called uh, using the formula. The formula is that 1 over person A plus 1 over person B is equal to 1 over together. Okay. So this is the formula. So to do that, person A is Jim. So you take 1 divided by 50. And person 2 is Peter, so we take 1 over 40, and we get 1 over T. For short form together, we represent it with the letter T. So if you put your calculator, 1 over 50 and 1 over 40, when you add them up, okay, it's going to be 0 0.045. That's equal to 1 over T. Okay, now you need to use your algebra to solve this. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply T on both sides. So we get 0.045t is equals to 1. And last but not least, to get your t or your time together, you have to take time equals to 1 divided by 0 0.045. And the answer is going to be, if you put your calculator, it's going to be 22.22 minutes. Okay. So this is a way to using the formula 1 over a plus 1 over b equals to 1 over t and you solve it together okay the other way to do it is you uh, a lot easier the shortcut method we're going to write the shortcut method i'm going to write in another color pen okay so shortcut okay shortcut method okay it's just going to take the product of the time divide by the sum okay the product means you multiply 50 and 40 so the product is going to be 50 times 40 and the sum is going to be 50 plus 40 okay so you do it in in your calculator 50 times 40 is going to be 2000 and the sum is going to be 90 you put the calculator you're going to get 22.22 minutes too okay so that is the two ways for you to solve this problem both is acceptable and this is a good method to learn so that you will be using it in your real life. Cheers everyone and have a good day.